Hi everyone, today we're going to go over positive and negative space. So positive space is the area that the subject takes up. The subject in this case are the chairs that are stacked on top of each other here. So the positive space is the area that the chairs take up. So it's like the light and the dark, all like the wood that the chairs have. Negative uh, negative space is all of the area surrounding the object. So you can think about it like the background, but sometimes there's going to be more busy of a background. So in this case, it's pretty plain, right? It's just the white walls and the wood floors. So that's all negative space, negative space, negative space, all in between the chair legs. Um, sometimes it'll be super plain, sometimes it'll be more busy. It just depends on what you're drawing. So we're going to draw these chairs using the space and the shapes that they're making instead of thinking about them as chairs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take kind of like a quick measurement. So mine's pretty tall, right, compared to how wide it is. So if I take my pencil. Maybe like one by one and a half. So when I mark my box on my paper, I just want to make sure whatever I establish as one. So if I'm going to say that that is one, that I can fit one and a half of those going down. So here's one and a half. So I'm just going to make little tick marks, kind of where the top of my box is and where the sides of my box are. Um, this is going to be like the main area, this should be the only area, I should say, that the chairs are going to exist in. So when I draw my block in shape, or my envelope shape, sorry, when I uh, draw my envelope shape, it should exist only within this box. So I'm going to start blocking in some of my angles here. I want to think about what's the point that this is the widest out at, and it's probably the bottom leg. So that, that means that these two have to be more inside than the, of the box. And then the bottom leg would hit somewhere down here. So there would be more negative space between here and here, right, than like where this bottom leg's at, because the bottom leg is further out. We want to use our measuring tilts. So this would be my envelope shape for the chairs, where the chairs are existing. And then I'm gonna use negative space for the block in. So you guys probably already do this when you are drawing without even kind of knowing what it's called. So now I'm going to just kind of think about trying to find some abstract shapes places. So for example, like right here is kind of from this point to the end of the chair here, it's kind of making a triangle. So I want to draw that triangle when I'm drawing the block in, thinking about how the, the space of the background is half of the drawing. So the background's half, it's all the support. So I'm going to start just kind of finding where those spaces are. The height of this, this end of the chair to this one this one to that one, making sure that they're kind of even with each other. And then right here, right, the corner of my envelope shape should have been pushed over a little bit. That's okay. You just want to correct your drawing as you go.
So I'm just thinking about big, broad strokes, thinking about just kind of measuring everything out. You want to think big to little. So I'm thinking about this big shape and I'm trying to shrink it down to smaller shapes as the drawing goes on. So now I'm going to start kind of, I have my kind of first initial block and in lines of where I think the bottom of this chair will be, where I think the top of the inside of that will be, where the top of this chair is, the thickness of that chair, where the top of this is compared to the top of that. I'm kind of just marking down where I think things are going to go with my best guess using negative space. So this the area behind and like kind of like all the outside triangles. And now I'm going to kind of go to the inside ones now and make sure that the inside ones are working together. So if I'm drawing, and I'm sure it's going to happen, that I get to a point where one of these shapes on the inside does not match up. That means that something's off with my drawing. And then I have to change my drawing most likely. So I'm looking at this space here. I can already tell like this has to be a little taller. So I'm going to move that line down. And I'm probably going to move this in a little bit as well. So this space now here matches up with that one a little bit better. So I'll go down to this. I have to make sure that this line is going to fall through with the bottom. This one's a bit taller. A taller of a space. And then this, I, I made that one a little too high, so I'm just gonna shrink it down. Which when I change this, that's probably gonna affect the rest of my drawing, and that's okay. We have to just be able to go back and fix things. So this negative space, look at how skinny, skinny and long this is. I have to make sure that that matches up. If it's too wide, then I know that the rest of the chairs and where they're hitting are not going to be in the correct place. Make sure you're holding your um, pencil like an artist would. I'm going to get into these three shapes now. So I'm going to block in the last one over here because I want to make sure that the angle of this of the chairs are going at the correct tilt. All the way down. Something's off a little bit right here. I think that looks okay. I gotta go back in now and fix the top angle. Okay, and now that I have all this in so far, I have to, I'm gonna pause for a second and make sure that things are agreeing with each other. If they don't agree now, they're not gonna later in the drawing. You're just gonna build off of bad foundation. 
So I'm just gonna pause here, clean up some of my lines. I think this needs to be thicker here. And once I feel like it's okay, I'm gonna just keep going. Just judging negative space. I'm not thinking about this like, what, where does this leg go to this stool and where is this coming from? I'm not, I'm kind of thinking about that, but I'm more concerned about just the abstract spaces. So again, I gotta, I move this one down. So this one also came down as well. And then I jump around a lot when I draw because I'm trying to kind of build it all, all up at the same time um, instead of just really getting hyper focused on one detail over here. Um, I find this, this is better for making more complete work and making more accurate work as well. Another way we could approach this drawing is, oh, see, look at right here. See how this line is not matching up with the bottom one? So that means something's off. So I have to go back and there's a little bit of a curve anyways to this photo, to the chair, I mean. So I'm gonna go through and kind of make sure that curve is more correct. And then I'm gonna make sure that it all matches up and feels like the same contour. Like this is all sharing the same thing. Um, we could approach this drawing like a two point perspective, right? We could have two vanishing points out here. We could have all the lines going to one and all the lines going to the other. I'm kind of thinking about that as I'm drawing. You know, like everything's a little bit more connected with drawings. Um, so as I'm drawing this, this leg down here, I know that it has to be higher on this side. And that's just my knowledge of two point perspective working. Uh, but I'm not really, you know, plotting points and, dra and dragging lines out. I'm just using the space.
And then there's this really teeny tiny one right there. That I could add. I think overall that this leg can come out a little bit and I know that because if I'm judging from here to here right that looks okay from here to here I think this needs to like come out like a little bit further out towards this way sometimes too I talk about this in class a lot um, when students have really thick lines you know, if that's like the contour line they're using to describe this line here, it's really hard to figure out, like, if I make a really thick line here, where is this shape starting? Is it starting here? Or is it starting here? So just, it's okay to draw messy. Like, the more you draw, the better you'll get at it. Um, just go back and clean up your, your line, kind of like how you would for digital art, to find that very specific contour so it's clear for you and it's clear for me you know as the artist and the viewer it has to be clear for both and then my last little bit right here again I'm gonna use my knowledge of two-point perspective to know that that can't go any higher or lower I can use the negative space between here and here to make sure that that seems okay and it does I just think I have to maybe pull this seat out a little bit more. Like this is confusing here. So now I'm gonna go back and clean it up. So that would be a very quick blocking of positive and negative space, only thinking about the very geometrical shapes that the squares are making, all the angles, the triangles, the tilts, thinking a little bit about perspective, but mainly just, you know, this shape compared to that shape, compared to that shape, compared to that shape. 